Hello, Bia. My name is Lisa Wairimo from Lockwood Girls High School, Form 3. Welcome to Science Hub. My colleagues are... Shalima Lisi. Shivain Taylor. Today's topic of discussion will be ecology. Well, ecology is the study of the interrelationship between organisms with each other and their environment. Uh, in ecology, we have some concepts, which is habitat, population, species. The some factors that affect uh, ecology are biotic factors and abiotic factors. On to the abiotic factors, there's light, temperature, atmosphere, humidity, and to the abiotic factors, there's saprophytism, parasitism, and Oh, we have population. Population is the population is the number of living organisms that occupy a certain place. We have different ways in which we can estimate the population size of living organisms in a specific biosphere. In, depending on the size and the nature of the species, we have different population estimates, estimation methods. Uh, I'm going to give you the example. We have examples like line transcend method. We also have the belt transcend. We have the quadrant method. And lastly, we have the capture. The capture method. These are different ways in which we can estimate the population of organisms in a biosphere. Then we have adaptations of plants to various habitats. Okay, there are different types of plants living in different types of habitats. We have the xerophytes, we have the mesophytes, we have the hydrophytes and the halophytes. The xerophytes are plants which, which, are, which are to withstand very dry weather conditions, environmental conditions. Then we have the mesophytes, which are to, re, to withstand uh, normal environmental conditions. And we have the hydrophytes, which have withstand water conditions. In short, they can grow on water. And we have the halophytes, which grow in salty areas. On to the xerophytes, as I've said, these are and plants which are which grow in dry areas like the deserts. Example of such plants include the cactus and the acacia tree. Uh, the characteristics of the habitat is that the humidity there is very low and it is strong winds are usually usually occur at that place. Then the rainfall over there is unevenly and poorly distributed throughout the year. The adaptations is that Mm, and plants like cactus, they have a thick cuticle so as to reduce the rate of transpiration and some leaves, some plants like acacia, they have a reduced leaf surface so as to reduce the rate of transpiration. On to mesophytes, these are plants which grow in favorably weather conditions and some of the characteristics of their habitats include, include they have high humidity, the area there is less windy, and then the thick clouds are common there. Then the adaptations to their habitat is that they show various adaptations depending on where they grow. Trees there grow tall in competition for light, and also climbers hang themselves onto trees so that they can reach light. As I said earlier, hydrophytes are plants which grow on water. Some of the characteristics, some of the adaptations are they have large air spaces, 
and on to the halophytes, the plants which grow in salty areas, they have a large content of salt concentration. Uh, now we go to the human diseases. The first one is cholera. Cholera is caused by vib vibro cholerae. Its symptoms are severe diarrhea and abdominal pains. Prevention and treatment of cholera are proper hygiene, proper disposal of feces, boiling or drink boiling or treatment of drinking water. We go to typhoid. Its causative cos agent is Salmonera typhi. Sim its symptoms are headache, loss of appetite, diarrhea, and fever. Its pre prevention and treatment is proper personal hygiene, proper dispo disposal of feces. We go now to malaria. Its causative agent is plasmodium, plasmo plasmodium malaria. Its transmission is from an infected person to a healthy person through a female anophilus mosquito bite. Its symptoms are headache, fever, loss of appetite, and vomiting. Its prevention and treatment is draining stagnant water, use of insecticides, clearing bushes around the homesteads. And the last one is amoebic dysentery, which is caused by Antamoeba histolita, histolitica. Its symptoms are diarrhea, abdominal pain, fever. Its prevention and treatment is proper hypertension proper personal hygiene, proper physical, phys, proper physical disposal. We have come to the end of our discussion today on Science Hub. I've been Lisa Werimo, Shalene Malesi, Shivain Taylor, Kipi Telimo TV, Watch, Watch and Learn. learn.